Welcome to Dad Does, and today we are reviewing Meep, the robotic friend from Wowie Toys. This is pretty cool. Runs on four AA batteries, stands about eight inches tall, but the really cool thing about it, a self-balancing robot with a ton of personality. Uh, so self-balancing has an app, but also gesture controlled, sound controlled, IR sensors on it. A lot of cool stuff, a lot of modes. Let's get to it, show you Meep in action. All right, one of the cool things we have on the Meep here is gesture control. And you can see by the blue light in his belly, he's in this gesture control mode. David's going to help me out here. So David, go ahead and do that forward gesture. See if you can get him to follow your hand forward. And look at that, he goes forward. And David just did the stop by putting his hand right in front of him. So pretty cool. You don't need the app. You can just gesture. Now David's going to try to get him to go backwards, which should be pushing his hand towards Meep's face. Go ahead and try that one. Okay. Oh, followed him forward, stopped it, try again to get him to go back. And there it goes backwards. So as you see, it takes a little bit of effort. David's going to do a gesture now. He's going to show how he can make him turn. So go ahead and do a turn. And as you see, he follows his hand. The other way follows it that way. All right, so what's going on with the gesture commands is he's got infrared sensors and he's picking up your hand. So just a neat way to do it. David will try again, do a gesture in front of him, try again to go back. As you see, he goes back. So that's pretty cool. We're going to show you some of the other modes here. All right, now Meep has many different modes. And you might be wondering, how do you switch them? You just turn the wheel. So David will help us out there. You can turn the wheel clockwise or counterclockwise. As you see, the color of his belly changing. That's indicating all the different modes he goes into. And there are a lot. We're going to show here roaming. And that is because of the yellow light on his belly. And let's show how this sets up with the balancing. David's just going to put him down. All right, David's got him in roam mode. He's going to show how he self-balances now. You just kind of put him down, give him a little shift, and he is going to lock in, and off he goes. So here he is whistling away in roam mode. I'm going to put my hand. He sees an obstacle there. He's going to head towards David. Uh-oh, sees an obstacle, turns, and will go the other way. So again, pretty cool. Using the sensors here, he'll just turn, roam, and explore all around. You do want to be careful if you have stairs or something like that. Wouldn't want him falling down. But he's pretty accurate, as you see, as he moves towards things. He's picking them up. Helicopter causing a little bit of trouble for him. But he's able to pick it up and roam around. Okay, of course, now Meep can also dance. Can put him into dance mode, as David will show him. There he goes. That's a fun little mode where he'll just start dancing to his own music. In a little bit, we're going to show you on the app where he will actually dance to music you're playing through your iPhone. All right, here we're showing you cage mode here. David's going to get him going in the cage. And here, Meep is going to try to escape. He's going to spin around a couple of times. There he goes. You've got to put your hand in front of him to try to stop him before he escapes. It's kind of a time game. He starts to move a little bit quicker. All right, David, let him go a little bit further. And see, there he goes. And if he gets too far, oh yeah, he escapes. So he's sure they escape. Fun little game there. That's cage mode. All right, as you see here, we have attached a tray that comes with him, and that's because he can balance things on him. There are a couple different stacking games. David's going to go ahead and just put some objects on there just to show pretty neat how the self-balancing works. Even as his weight shifts, he's able to rebalance. So David's put a couple of light things on there, and as you see, Meep is still balanced. So neat little trick there. We're going to put something a little bit heavier to show that he can still balance even with heavier objects. All right, David's going to try something a little heavier here. And that is a flashlight, as you see, an odd shape. David will put it on him. And look at that. Meep is balancing with a large flashlight on him. So pretty cool that he can balance all these different objects. There's some fun stacking games we'll get to in the app. David has put Meep in trick mode. As we said, there are a lot of different modes here. This one's kind of cool. What he's going to do is he'll get going to accept hand gestures from David. He can program up to 50. So go ahead and do a hand gesture. So he says, okay, he's got to turn. Do another one. All right, David has told him to turn again. Let's do one more. 
and now he's turned back the other way. Then all he's going to do is clap twice and he will execute those commands. Go ahead. Let's do it again. Double clap. And there it is. He did the turn and then turn back the other way. So you can put up to 50 commands in there. You could program him if he had his tray on to go deliver something to someone. So that's just a fun way to program him in trip mode. All right, so here we're looking at the app for Meep, and this opens up a whole nother world. So look at all these different games you can play here. There's drive mode there. And that's your standard. You're going to be able to control him and drive him around. All right, David's going to demonstrate the drive mode here. Go ahead, David, control him with the app. As you see, you can do a cool spin, spin the other way. Forward and back. And one thing we're gonna show is he's actually pretty fast. So go ahead and uh, get him going. So Meep's got some speed to him. And this is just using the drive mode on the app. Let's go over to Cans there. And if you go to Cans, go ahead and hit that check mark there come back to these but I just want to show you. You can feed him all different cans. These are basically his food. Sleepy, happy, sad, different emotions, which you can then just put into his head. All right, now we're going to show you what happens with the cans app when you feed him sleepy. So I just fed him sleepy and watch what Mip does. Says sleepy. Snoring. And there he goes to sleep. That's a cute one. All right, then you've got dance mode, which is pretty much what it sounds like. I uh, can go ahead and hit, hit check there. We're going to come back to this, but I'll just show you. Allows Meep to dance to different music you're playing off of your iPhone. So pretty fun where he's dancing around. All right, go back to the main menu, please. And we're going to show just some of the other things. There's battle mode here. Now, we only have one Meep, but this is pretty cool. Go ahead and hit the check, David, so we can show him just what it looks like. As you go in here, you can actually do battle if you have more than one meep and they have a little battle there. Um, but again, we just have one meep, so not much of a battle we can show. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu from that. That's the last meep standing battle. And then you can go, there's another screen here, so David's gonna pull it over here. A couple other here, boxing, David's gonna show that, and he can hit the check just to show it. But again, if you have more than one meep, they can actually box, so that's kind of fun too. Now, real quickly showing you meep boxing here, and what happens is, is that as you do the left and right punches, So what's really happening there is Meep is just kind of spinning, but if there was someone there, he would be hitting them. So it's a little boxing you could do to Meeps or with just some other action figure you want to box against. Just to finish up what we've got here, we've got Path. This is a neat one. Go ahead and hit the check. You can actually draw a path and the Meep will follow it. So you draw what you where you want him to go and they'll follow that path. Go ahead and hit back on that one. And then we're going to finish it up with Stack, which is just a fun stacking game where you go ahead and try to stack as much as you can on me before time runs out and he spins around. Go ahead and hit check just to show him what it looks like in there. So this is the mode here. There's a score and you try to stack things on me. One of the other apps is Dance. We're showing Dance here where they will dance to the music and we've thrown in some additional friends for Meep to dance with. There you have it, a quick look at Meep, your interactive robot friend. We think this one's gonna be a hit because there's so much to it. The gesture mode, controlling it with the app, all the mini games that come with it, IR sensors on it, it makes sounds, it has its own language, it falls asleep, it's angry, it's grumpy, it's happy, it's sad. A lot of cool things, a lot of new stuff to discover, and I'm sure there'll be more that we find out. We'll probably do a follow-up video as we play with Meep some more, but for now, come on over to daddoes.com where we'll have a full review over on the site.